Hey, what's up guys, Brandon here, Mitten Made Properties. We have your Genesee County, September 2020 real estate market update. Let's jump right into this. I always have three things, uh, three years here, and the month in arrears. We preface with those two things because we have to see the trend. The trend is your friend, so remember that. We have the month finalized, we have the numbers finally in, they're, they're done, so we have that for you. That's why we go in arrears, and then, like I said, the trend is your friend. So we want to go to the trend here, one year when you're making the sense. So let's jump right into this. Days on market, 35 across the board. So I don't know if you've ever seen that in the five plus years we've been doing this. 35 across the board, so the same days on market, all three years. Active number of homes. This is a one day sample size. So the day to day was taken how long, or how many homes were on the market at that time. 883 two years ago, 978 last year, 562 this year. So we've seen this across the board in Metro Detroit, a big dip in homes in the market. Months of inventory, two months, two years ago, two months last year, and one month this year. This is at the rate homes are, are selling. How long would it take to sell every last home? No new homes coming on the market. And just to give you context, one to three months is a seller's market, meaning it's not a lot of inventory, prices are up. Like now, four to six months is balance, and seven plus is a buyer market, meaning there's, there's a lot of inventory out there, prices are coming down. New homes, 644 last year, or two years ago, 644 last year, and 674 this year. So again, pretty consistent across the board there. This is the month wide number, so how many homes were new active listed on the market that month. So pretty consistent here. Actually, I think the only Metro Detroit County that had an increase, most were uh, were way down actually. So that's that's good to see for Genesee County. Price per square foot, $98 two years ago, 108 last year, 107 this year, so consistent there a little bit, but uh, in these two years. But again, this is the trend, you wanna see this. If you multiply this by your square footage, you can get an approximation of your home's value. However, if you want to get an actual value home, you have to have someone on our team, uh, an appraiser, a true professional who's done this hundreds and hundreds of times, actually give you an appraisal on your home, give you your value, because this is a countywide number, right? It takes in all the cities, and the neighborhoods, and, and townships, etc. So we gotta take that into consideration here, but I want to see the trend. That's the most important thing. And the number of sold properties, this is the number of people actually sitting at a closing table, closing on the home, taking title. 371 two years ago, 435 last year, 557 this year. Again, we're seeing this across the board because the glut of homes on in the fall or in the summer and in the early fall here, now they're all closing. So there are lockdowns happening, then a bunch of homes flood the market, and now they're all closing. We have not a ton on the market. We have a little more getting listed though this past month than usual. That's good. But we have not a ton on the market going forward. And I would expect to see that number come down in comparison to the months previous and the months ahead. That makes sense so kind of a little tongue twister there but that's it for genesee county guys september 2020 i appreciate you guys your time your energy your mind sharpening your mind a little bit that's what we're doing here your time and your energy the most important assets we have along with our mind i tell our team that every day please sharpen your mind don't waste the day use your time wisely and sharpen your mind so appreciate you guys if you're on the podcast go to at mitten made properties at mitten made properties on the youtube channel and the facebook channel or go check that out there questions comments concerns we'll go answer them there we look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.